hi everyone welcome to java best practices series in this video we'll discuss one more java best practice that is prefer lambda expressions to anonymous classes all right before java 8 we were using anonymous classes so what are the anonymous classes anonymous classes are the classes which we can declare and instantiate at the same time okay anonymous classes is just like a local classes except they don't have name and we use anonymous classes whenever we want a local class needs to use only once okay and in java 8 lambda expressions are introduced um, function interfaces method references stream apis etc if you are new to the lambda expression then visit my previous video tutorials where i have explained you all about lambda expressions okay now let me demonstrate why we use lambda expressions over anonymous classes we use lambda expression to implement functional interfaces all right functional interfaces are the interfaces which has only one abstract method and uh, in this code snippet we have created person class it has name and age private fields and here are the constructor and getter setter methods to access these private fields and we are going to use a comparator interface to compare a person objects by their age okay and comparator interface is a functional interface let me show you its internal internal implementation so look at here comparator interface is annotated with add functional interface annotation it means that comparator is a functional interface and uh, we can use a lambda expression to implement this interface okay great inside a main method we have created a list of person object here we are using array list implementation of list interface and here we have added person object to the list and here we are using anonymous class to implement the comparator interface okay and inside that we have just override the compare method of comparator interface and we provide uh, uh, here the logic to you know compare person objects by their age in ascending order look at here we are using anonymous class to implement comparator interface and it, it has it don't have any name and here we are just declaring and instantiating the anonymous class at the same time okay and here we are using only once so whenever you want to uh, create an object of the class or interface only once then you can use anonymous classes okay so as we know that a comparator is a functional interface so we can replace this implementation with a lambda expression all right so look at here we are using collections dot sort sort method to sorting the you know list of person objects and here we need to pass a comparator instance okay so this will sort a list of person objects in ascending order so look at here here we are using lambda expression to implement comparator interface okay it's pretty simple so comparator interface is a functional interface so we can use a lambda expression to implement a comparator interface and here we you also no need to give a type here so compiler will interference this type so look at here the code okay it looks uh, concise and uh, uh, it looks good whenever we use lambda expression all right so if you already use uh, anonymous classes in your project or in your programs then prefer using lambda expressions over anonymous classes so you can just replace anonymous classes with you know uh, lambda expressions like this all right if you don't know what is lambda expression then you can visit my previous video tutorial where i have explained you uh, all about lambda expression from the basics all right so let me run this program and let us see the output so look at here sort persons by age in ascending order so this is by using anonymous class and this is using lambda expression both gives the same result but uh, lambda expression it you know facilitates a functional programming technique 
so always remember whenever you are you have you are using uh, java 8 then prefer using lambda expressions or anonymous classes all right i hope uh, this best practice you found useful thanks for watching subscribe to my youtube channel whenever i will publish such videos you will get notified thanks for watching i will see you in the next video with another java best practice thanks